So I quickly sketched my little doll out. Uh, I'm going to mention too that this was very much inspired by the Rachel Maxi video. I think I'm saying her name right. I don't know if I'm saying her name right. I really do like all of her vintage looks and a few months back she made a Coraline doll tutorial and I thought, well oh my god, that's so cool. And Halloween is right around the corner so I thought, you know what, it's time to make my own Coraline doll. However, there are a few ways that I went totally in a different direction with this project. So you'll see I made the same little wire skeleton, uh, but then I kind of, well, and then clay. I would recommend that you use a different type of clay. This was so difficult to work with. Uh, Super Sculpey is better than this. This is a very lightweight type of clay and it was like foam. I don't know. I made it work, but I would not recommend it. It was really difficult. I did like the texture that it left. It kind of has a canvas look once it starts to settle, which was nice, but it was still very difficult to sculpt with. So again, I would not recommend it. Um, now when you're doing the face, uh, the chin is really, really pointy and the nose is really, really pointy. Uh, but that's pretty much it. You can kind of go however, what it, you know, do whatever you want. If you want it to look more like, um, a Tim Burton-esque character, you could do that too. Um, it's kind of easy because the models in the movies um, are all made out of clay, so really just look at the Coraline doll as a reference, I guess. I made my nose extra pointy though, so. And here's the final product before I threw it in the oven for like 10-15 minutes. Okay, so this is where it gets a little crazy. I used scrap fabric to wrap around the wire skeleton that I had instead of using filler or cotton or anything because I didn't want to sew a little body. I was just lazy and I was like, you know what? It's fine if it's just a scrawny bony little skeleton instead of a full soft bodied doll because I figure, you know, I'm going to put clothes on it and you're not going to see it anyway. That being said, I did wrap a little bit of canvas on the legs and arms that were going to be, you know, visible. And instead of having like defined fingers, I kind of just gave it fingers like a groovy girl doll where it's kind of sewed on and it looks like paws. I just thought, you yeah, know, whatever, it's fine. Uh, and then I got to painting the head. Uh, I wasn't super, super detailed with the painting. I did use some purples to shade in the little, mm, what I don't know what you'd call it, but the sides of the nose. I contoured it with the purple. And I wanted to keep it kind of blushy and pink in tones. Um, although if you wanted to go with like really dramatic, like just paint the face white and give it big, huge, you know, rosy red cheeks, you could do that too. And I gave myself purple eyes because why not? I thought it matched the whole aesthetic, even though I don't have purple eyes.
you probably think this world is a dream come true, but you're wrong. It's the empty part of this world. And then the fun part was the sweater. I lost the footage of me making the sweater, um, but it was just a fuzzy sock that I bought at the dollar store for, you know, a dollar. Uh, and then I used a sock for the trim, and I'm making myself leggings out of the same sock. So um, this sock doesn't have a match, so I just figured why not make it into doll pants. Um, I was going to turn it inside out, but then I realized that it was like fuzzy. You know how the insides of socks are fuzzy? I didn't think about that, so I'm just going to leave it as it is. Uh, yeah. And for the hair, I have this pink wig. And my hair is not pink, but this wig is almost blonde. And yes, I'm kind of wrecking it, but also it was already kind of wrecked because our dog got a hold of it and uh, kind of like messed up the lace on it. So... I just figured, you know, maybe it'll be doll hair. Um, a lot of the tutorials use yarn, and I think that would have been a better idea. It would have been easier. Ooh, and off camera, I also made a pair of boots, little Doc Martens. So here she is. I think my favorite part of this entire project were her little Doc Martens. They're so cute. But yeah, I really enjoyed making this little mini-me, and I hope you make your own mini-me this Halloween. And yeah, bye! What do you think? Did you like it? She doesn't like the doll. She actually, like, sniffed it and then hissed at it, so that's whatever. I think it smells weird. I think the clay... She just doesn't like the way it plays. So we're going to keep that doll somewhere where she can't smell it. Right? Right. Cat ASMR.